We're going to take a look at a phone that was migrated from Enterprise over to 3PCC. What I'm going to show here is how I'm going to migrate this back to the original Enterprise firmware. So if you notice the part number 8841-K9, so started its life as Enterprise firmware. Okay, let's take a look specifically what I've done with this phone and what I'm illustrating in this video. The phone started its life as a enterprise phone. That's the actual product number. So CP-8841-K9. I made sure that it was running 14.1 parentheses one enterprise firmware before I attempted any firmware migration. So this was starting point. I went ahead and I used the WebEx Control Hub firmware migration tool, which creates virtual licensing to migrated. And once the phone was migrated, it was running 11.3.6 MPP, also known as 3PCC firmware. And at this point, the phone is actually registered or was registered with WebEx Control Hub. And then for me to migrate the phone back in effort, I can use it with CUCM. I did a couple steps. Within WebEx Control Hub, I actually deleted the phone. And this can be done under the device section WebEx Control Hub and then the next step I factor reset the phone there's a special key sequence when you're powering on the phone I have a video on that and then the third thing is I did the firmware migration back to enterprise firmware from MPP firmware using local TFTP in a moment you're going to see why I have listed or flash and then once the phone migrated back, we're basically on square one where we started. The phone is running 14.1.1 Enterprise Firmware, and it can be registered back with CUCM. And we're going to just check the phone itself to see what it currently has as far as firmware. So if you notice, it's a 3PCC 11-3-6 MPP. And so what we're going to do is the phone is running very new firmware. As of the recording, this is the latest. We're going to migrate it back to 14.1 parentheses 1 firmware. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the web interface of the phone. And we're going to go under, first we're going to log in as admin. And then we want to click on advanced. Okay, we're going to go to the voice tab, provisioning tab locate the information to generate the upgrade rule so I will take a look at the actual folder that has the enterprise firmware we want to find the downloads file and we want to copy the downloads file for the 1411 firmware and then also the IP address of the local TFTP server so TFTP then I'm going to type in the IP address of the local TFTP server and then we'll do a forward slash and paste in the dot loads. The phone itself may actually already have the enterprise firmware in back to flash. And we'll see if it does not touch the local TFTP server after 20 seconds or so, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, we'll focus back on the phone itself meaning that most likely in memory flash it still has the enterprise firmware from before okay so we're going to take a look here in a moment at the phone itself because i believe this phone since this this was a fairly recent migration most likely has the enterprise firmware and backup flash okay it does if you notice the saying firmware upgrade in progress and you will notice this sometimes if you're migrating or or going between older to newer firmware vice versa if it has the older firmware and it was something recently that was just done then you may notice it may not touch your TFTP server and that's what's happening here then we're going to take a look at the phone okay enterprise firmware 1411 so basically this is how we migrate the phone back to the original firmware state as far as in this case those enterprise firmware. Hopefully this video helps you. Thank you.